Hypothalamus Artificial Intelligence, HI. Digital Transformation Powered by Real-Time Autonomous and Intelligent Algorithms. Presents the Short Conference. The list of short introductory lectures to decision-making artificial intelligence are presented in the picture. Thousands of Brains and Artificial Brains. Another important contribution of Hawkins, is related to the multiple brain models of the same object working cooperatively. For example, to recognize an object, five models of that object can intervene, each of them generated by one of the senses, that the human being enjoys. Complete knowledge occurs when the knowledge generated by all models in all layers are integrated. Thousand Brains Theory of Intelligence Implies Multiple models of an object, each model depends on a point of view. All models work cooperatively to identify the object, or situation. The identification starts from the sampling process, and progresses until it finds that all the models converge, that is, they agree and at that moment the object, or the situation, has been identified, and the process is done through the flow of information in the neocortical regions. The new way of mathematics is directly related to the parallel thinking, and Today it can be said that like paper-based math, sequential mathematics for single processor computers, will be in the short term a dead language. As in the human brain, in the future only parallel mathematical thinking will be practical. The new analytics is autonomous, parallel, and distributed. Thank you for your attention. A monolithic model can be associated with neocortical regions. Using large-scale methodologies, the monolithic model can be visualized as a network of mathematical models, or artificial mathematical neurons. The way to connect the network of mathematical models, may be associated with the way cortical regions are divided. Hierarchies can be associated with multiples views of the same system, as proposed by Jeff Hawkins. It seems normal that, to recognize the pattern of physical objects, the five senses are used, each of which will have its own model and working cooperatively all identify a unique object. If we assume that reality has several important points of view, one of them should be selected as the main one. The problem of his choice must be faced. This is to define which is the best hierarchy to use. Considering the vision of large-scale optimization as multiple points of view, Hai developed the Bender's multi-decomposition methodology. In simple multi-level Bender theory, in many cases there is no obvious hierarchical order for partitioning. MBD is a new approach that takes advantage of formulating multiple equivalent problems, one for each point of view, and formulating an extended coordinator model that integrates all points of view, thinking in the thousands brain of Hawkins and consider a global multi-business company in which the general control of the company is carried out through the board of directors. For directors, three points of view are the most important. The company operates in three markets, electricity, gas and oil. Operates in several regions, and administratively is managed in several departments. From the point of view of traditional partitioning methodologies, such as standard benders, you need to choose, a point of view, a criterion, to begin the partitioning process, in this case there are three possibilities. The partitioning process implies that the problem from one point of view, is represented with several models, depending on the number of entities that make up the point of view. For example, for business case, three models are required, electricity, gas and oil. Partitioning and the decomposition of system can occur in multiple ways, without there being a mathematical reason to select one as the best. The diagram presents a system that can be sorted hierarchically by three alternative criteria, business, regions, and functions. Alternatively, it is possible to choose another hierarchy, regions, business, and functions. It is important to note that in both cases it is met. The last layer, the sensory one, is the same since it corresponds to the atoms of the system. These could not change according to the point of view. The upper layer, the coordinators, is partially the same, since in each of them, the information corresponding to the alternative point of view is missing. 
the advantage multi-decomposition arises when subproblems are solved based on an asynchronous parallel approach. In this case, each time a problem is solved, a cutting plane is included in the coordinator problem, in such a way that the number of mathematical elements included, depends on the optimization process, the number of cores used, the numbers of vision of the system, and the structure of each of the subproblems. To solve complex mathematical optimization problems associated to large enterprises the optimization problem may be decomposed using different point of views. In many cases there is no obvious hierarchical order, first business after regions and finally functions, or first regions then business and finally functions, or the algebraic formulation depends on the hierarchical order, but the optimal solution must be the same regardless of the point of view. Then, it is possible to modify the standard large-scale methodologies. All models refer to the same system, or firm, and are therefore equivalent. Then, it is possible to modify the standard large-scale methodologies to simultaneously handle all the models, and improve the solution of the integrated problem. The three models can be integrated. To include mathematical elements from the different points of view and they could speed off the solution process, and to have a better vision of the system. The artificial hypothalamus can be extended to handle all the problems that are generated as a sequence of the multi-benders decomposition implementation. For those interested in learning more about this topic are invited to watch the video. Artificial hypothalamus and multi-benders decomposition. High believes that mathematics may be the language with which God has written the human brain. Thank you for your attention.